just got our cashier's check at PNC Bank. We're waiting for another ride. Another ride. And now it's raining out and we're tired and the RV dude was supposed to pick us up from here and he didn't. So he's really ticking us off to the point where we're like, should we just go home? Like literally five minutes away, he could be picking us up. The check oil lights on and everything. The things that they should have probably looked at before we flew out here. That they knew we were coming, they knew the day, the time, the hours. I hour, swear the plane I have it on camera at home that they said, two people here said that everything was fine with the RV. I guess we should have listened to the other guy at the other camping world who called and said that something was wrong with the engine, right? Yeah. Um, well, we're here. We don't know if we should just call it a day and get an airplane back home and go look for a different one, or... But this is how you guys treat veterans. It's like we've been sitting here with no one. Nobody us. really helping, nobody the, telling and us. And we say, hey, the check engine light was on, and they said, no, it wasn't, it was a power light. No, I know what the check engine light is. What's mm -hmm. the code? And they want to tell me. Yeah, so we're kind of rubbed the wrong way, so... Um, I'm not too sure. We're here in Alvarado, Texas. I don't really, never really heard of it. Uh, no outside of Dallas, Fort Worth. We've taken two uh, lifts here. Um, again, was supposed to get a ride from the salesperson from the airport to the bank, from the bank to here. But both times we had to go ahead and get lifts ourselves. Um, so yeah, it's been a kind of crazy day. Um, God willing, everything will work out. We'll see what happens. We'll update you soon. Toodles. So we were just about to pack up all of our stuff and leave because we're still sitting here. What time is it? 3.10. It's 3.10 now and... They said, uh, don't leave yet, let me see what I can do. And they said that they're gonna try to put on a new backup camera. Well, we're waiting and see what happens. Hopefully they will put on a new backup camera. Because we are sick of waiting. We're about to leave and just go take a plane home. Is anybody inside it? No, no, they're doing it. Okay. Listen, I have to buy another plane ticket to go back home because I'm not, it's, it's still not even ready. Yes. So they took. So he took. So, so, so he took me over to go check out the camera, and they said, "Well, I don't know why it's not working. We're gonna have to rewire the whole camera, and that's gonna be another hour, two hours." And I said, "Okay, I'm. I'm I can't do it. I, you know, I've been here six, what, the four, four and a half, five hours, you know, the two hours for the rewiring." And the manager's like, "Oh, sorry, since we're working on it already, we're gonna keep the deposit, and he's gonna come in and talk to me right now." And I'm like. I flew out. You would have had to do the work anyway. Yeah, you had to do an oil change anyway. Then you, you, you were going to sell me a pop out with no sliders or? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm real frustrated right now. This is ridiculous. And we're recording everything. So yeah, we're, we're, we're waiting for the manager right now. We're recording everything. The way we've been treated and we, like even the finance guy said, I've been seeing you sit in a, a cubic for, for four hours by yourself. Yes, that's all we've been doing. No one's offered us nothing or nothing. Hey, Danny. Hey, Danny. Nice to meet you. Oh, hold on one second, sir. He's here. So, you, so you guys are going to keep my $3,000 deposit? I'm not going to do that. 
I'll let y'all go. Y'all been here long enough. Yeah, well, because we haven't paid them. Already our plane tickets and every person. Totally understand. At this like, point, I think it's probably not a good marriage. You guys, I don't want y'all feeling like, you know, we're. I've got four guys busting their butt back there trying to get it right. My, my thing is, if it was supposed to be checked this morning, the, the oil light was even on. You know this the morning. problem with it? It's pieces of machinery. Oh, I, I get it. Totally yeah. understand. But if I'm saying I'm flying out here from another state to pick he, it up, he said he pulled it into the bay yesterday, mm -hmm. and that he checked it. Well, then okay. why is there a check oil light? And why is the vacuum? I have, I have and and saying? I've got a lot of my guys are filled are integrity filled guys. And it's not like most of these shops around here. If they tell you it wasn't, it wasn't. And with these things, I've got an excursion V10 that throws the craziest codes. I have no explanation for it, okay? None. I don't want you guys feeling like we've wasted your time and stuff. I'm sorry you spent the ticket. Technically, we keep all our deposits as far as what it costs to, to get the units ready. That unit right there will cost somewhere close to between seven and a thousand to get ready, okay? Just to turn it on. If you, I'll let you out of it. I'm willing to, like I said earlier, I'll do the 500 military discount. I'll do another 500 off just for your time. Okay. If that's what you want to do. If you don't, I'll let you out of it. But do they even know how long it's going to take? I'm trying to find that out for you right now. Because yeah. that yeah. was our most big thing. Is like, how Well, y'all's appointment today need... showed 3 o'clock. What time were y'all No, no I, we texted him at, we'd be off the plane at 8.55. And then he okay. said that you said that he had to move trailers or something. You want to manage He wasn't allowed to pick us up. And so he said that he'll pay for a lift. Which was okay, but we said yeah, wait for the lift. Right, five, right. I got you. Five lift drivers. So after spending five and a half hours at uh, Camp World at, in Alvarado, we are now at La Quinta. What? Waffle House? I know I love Waffle